What's up, friends? Welcome back. My name is Nadia Sands, and this is another very exciting episode of Learn How to Edit Stuff. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys an editing style made popular by Zach King. He does a series of videos where he does magic tricks, but they're not really magic tricks. They're just clever editing tricks. Today, we're going to be taking a look at how to put something different inside of an egg. Check it out. How did those nuts get inside that egg? I'm going to show you everything. If you want to jump in and do this tutorial yourself, you'll need a camera, a tripod, an egg, and some hazelnuts. I mean, it doesn't have to be hazelnuts. Any kind of nut will work. Basically anything that's not an egg yolk. There are three main things to think about when doing a Zach King style video. Number one, first and foremost, is creativity. You gotta be creative, it's gotta be something fun. Number two is gonna be your blocking in frame, being careful not to step in front of the thing that we're gonna be masking later. That will make a little bit more sense once we jump into it. And number three is gonna be selling it with some realistic camera shake presets. I have some recommendations and I will also show you how to make your own up to you. I'm excited, you're excited. Everything we're doing today is gonna be done inside of Adobe Premiere, so open it up right now because we are getting started. All right guys, Adobe Premiere is open and the first thing we're gonna do is take a look at the footage I shot for this magic trick. Now here's me dropping some hazelnuts into a plastic container. Nothing really special going on there. And then again in that same shot is me cracking the egg into the same plastic container. Now. The one thing that is the most important while doing something like this is that the container not move. I selfishly went back through and picked out all the hazelnuts very, very carefully one by one, making sure that the container doesn't move because I didn't want to get egg yolk all over my hazelnuts. But if you guys are cool with that, you don't have to do this step. Just make sure the container stays in the exact same spot. So what I'll do is I'll go right to the point where the hazelnuts start to drop out of my fingers. I'm going to set an in point and an out point. There you go. Beautiful. I'm actually going to put that on audio two and video two. And then I'm going to come to the point where the egg cracks right about there. Set an endpoint. There you go. Set an out point, And I'm going to drop that on video one. Now, theoretically, if you bump these up right underneath each other, they will line up because things fall at the same rate when there's no wind resistance like inside science. But just to check, we'll take our top layer and we'll actually just lower the opacity down. And now if I play this, you'll see the ghosted image and they are both falling at the exact same rate. Raise the opacity here back up to 100. And now what I'm gonna do is click on my top layer, come to opacity and click on the pen tool. And I'm going to just kind of free draw around my plastic container and kind of up and incorporate the hazelnuts falling to the best of my abilities. Nice, now if I come back out, you'll see that we already have something going here. The egg is breaking and it is lining up uh, pretty nicely actually with the, with the hazelnuts. What I might actually do is I, I will slip this egg video back just one frame and I will pull it over to the side. So now we're getting the nice motion here. You guys can see that there's a mask here. We're gonna fix that right now by coming up to our top layer and I'm just going to feather this mask a bit just so that our hard line starts to go away and you can see it pretty nicely there. All right, looking pretty good so far. I'm gonna zoom back in and you can kind of see the ghosting of my fingers here, which is not something that you want in the shot. So I'm gonna just adjust my mask path a little bit more just to kind of get rid of my fingers as much as humanly possible so that the trick isn't ruined. All right, that's looking pretty good. So what you're gonna to wanna to do actually is come in here and if your things are a little bit off, there may have been a weird shadow on the back wall, uh, you're gonna wanna make sure that your lighting is as controlled as humanly possible. I did it in my kitchen, natural light coming through the window. So I'm gonna have to compensate a little bit for that to make it look a little bit more realistic. So I'm gonna come in here to my color tab and I'm gonna zoom in again. And somebody asked me on YouTube before that when you zoom in, you actually can't maneuver through frame and you actually can. There's these little horizontal and vertical scroll bars down here. Uh, so you can do that. So what I'm gonna do is just bump the exposure on my top shot just to like 0.1 and uh, maybe increase my whites a little bit to like three, just so we get a nice smoother blend so you actually don't see the mask. There you go. Now, if you really wanna sell this, you gotta try to make the uh, nuts or whatever you guys are using yellow to kind of blend in with the egg yolk as it comes down and into the bowl. And a way to do that is to come down here to this new item button, go to adjustment layer, and we're just gonna drop an adjustment layer right on top and we're gonna put a circle mask on this adjustment layer. So click on it, come to the circle, and we're just gonna resize this guy and 
kind of put it over our hazelnuts. Zoom in here again, 150%, that's the magic number. And then what I'm gonna do is, while we're still in the color tab, I'm gonna come down to my color wheels and I'm gonna crank my shadows up into the yellows. Now, do you guys see how the hazelnuts are going from the brown color to the yellow color? That's exactly what you want. And again, you're gonna to wanna to come in here to your mask and you're just gonna to wanna to feather this mask so that you don't get any harsh lines. So we'll feather it, uh, let's go like 80%. And you're only gonna want that adjustment layer to be happening for, you know, the first like four frames or so. So we can actually cut that after the first four frames because you really only want that yellow to be happening to blend the hazelnuts a little bit more with the egg yolk. And now for the final touches is gonna to be the camera shake. If you guys have seen some of my previous videos, I have recommended in the past the Rampant Real Cam Camera Shake presets for Adobe Premiere. They're great, I highly recommend it. But if you don't wanna spend the money, here's how you make your own custom handheld camera shake presets. Brought to you by Naughty and Sands. What you're gonna to wanna to do is film a piece of tape on a wall, handheld. Just kinda of doing your own thing, whatever it is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set an in and out point down here. I'm gonna drag that onto my timeline. Don't forget to save your project, kids. And I'm gonna pop back over into editing mode. And I'm gonna come up to my effect controls and I'm gonna click a keyframe on position at the very beginning of my video. You may have to click off and then click back onto position to get this little circle thing here. This is very important. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag this up to the tip of my uh, piece of tape. And then I'm gonna click up here on motion and I'm just gonna go over five keyframes. One, two, three, four, five and I'm gonna reposition this to the top. And I'm gonna do this for the duration of the clip, however long it is. It is time consuming, yeah, but you don't have to pay for the presets you make in your own, congratulations. Fast forward through this part. All right, so once you're done with that, you're gonna come up here to motion, right click on that and go to save preset. And we can just call this tape handheld one. Click on anchor to endpoint and click okay. So once you've done that, let's come back over to our hazelnut and egg clip. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna nest this guy by right clicking on everything and going to nest and clicking okay. It will nest it into one single layer. And then what you'll do is come over to your effects and then up here in presets, there it is, tape handheld one. And what I'll do is I'll just drop that on my nest just like that. And what you'll have to do is you'll have to compensate for the scale on this because it is moving position. So all you gotta do is just increase the scale to maybe like 105 and it should get rid of all the black bars. And look, now you've created your own kind of custom handheld camera shake from something that you shot on a wall. Congrats, that is cool. So that's our handheld preset that we just made ourselves. But if I uh, go back here and I come down here to my rampant real cam camera shake presets, I like uh, subtle camera shake number one. There you go, that kind of looks good. It gives it a little bit more jittery movement, but that camera movement is what's gonna sell the effect. If it's just static and the camera's not moving, people are gonna have a lot more time to analyze the mask and if it is real or if it is not real. But if the camera's moving, it takes the viewer's attention away from focusing on the one thing because it seems a little bit more real. All right, let's recap. Number one, creativity. Put something different inside of an egg. That's a funny joke and it's creative. Number two, we were very, very careful not to move the plastic container away from its original starting position because if that happens, when you mask the things together, it's not gonna line up exactly perfect. And number three, the camera shake to make it just a little bit more realistic at the end. Make your own, put a piece of tape on the wall and then go every five frames and keyframe the position, right click, save as preset. You're making your own custom handheld camera presets or you can go over and buy the rampant real cam presets, which I do recommend. They are super cool and they're not really expensive, 29 bucks. The link is in the video description below. Go check it out if you're interested in purchasing. Thank you so much for watching, guys. My name is Nadia Sands, and this is Learn How to Edit Stuff. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and also check out the last video that you missed. If you have any questions for me, you want to get involved in the conversation, follow me on social media at Nadia Sands on Twitter and Instagram. I don't use Snapchat anymore. It's a dead platform. But hey, subscribe, check out the last video. I'll see you next time.